Hello everyone, this is Creeps, and today I'm showing you how to make a 4x4 crafting table. As you can see over here, I already have the GUI for one, so I'm going to be showing you how to actually assemble this. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff that you have to do. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to be showing you what I recommend that you do to basically make it a lot simpler. Let's get right into this. So first thing we want to do is we're just going to create a procedure, and let's just call this obsidian recipe 2 because that's what we're doing and also for every single recipe you have to create a procedure for your um, for your new crafting table and also you cannot do um, already pre-made crafting recipes unless you actually assign each one plus also there is no such thing in procedure crafting um, as basically like a, as a, you could put it in any order you cannot do that with procedures, you actually have to, if you want to do that, you have to actually set each procedure out separately, so I'm be showing you um, just one crafting recipe on how you do that. I recommend that you go to the template library and you go to the GUI template 4x4 crafting table here. Zoom out. You have to remove this part where also crash, and then you have to fill in all the inventory spaces here. So if you go to um, this obsidian recipe, as you can see here, this is how you craft. Um, the obsidian, so basically let's just open up our GUI that I have already set. And you see we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 with water. And yeah, it's relatively simple. You kind of just have to get the hang of it. As you can see here we have everything. And then the last slot right here um, is basically the place where you get the recipes, um, where you actually get the item back from it, from the crafting table. So... This right here is the output, and then this is just it, removing all the items, and then this is where you get the item back again. So, this is not duplicated. Do not remove this block. This block is essential, or else the entire thing will crash. So, that's how you set up the procedures. Um, I'm not going to do it because it will take a long time um, just to set everything up. But you can pause the video here and just fill up all the procedures if you want to. But um, now I'm going to be showing you how to create the GUI. So how you create the GUI is you just go to GUI. I'm going to call this ADV table GUI. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to snap components on grid, GUI with slots, and then we're just going to make this like 422 by 422. Because we will need more space. Uh, this is not enough. So, so now what we have to do is we have to create some input slots here. And yeah, this is... It is a very long but simple process. It's also kind of boring just to actually place down all these slots. But yeah, as you can see, you get it. I'm just going to skip ahead and then I'll be on to the next step of the GUI. Also, here's a part that I like to note. This is also, you can also do this with 2x2, two two, um, 3x3, 4x4, anything you want to, as long as it fits onto this page. And all you have to do have to edit. Um, is this, you can just take out uh, some of these slots, like if you only have, it's four, it says 2x2, two two, just remove all these other slots. But I'm just going to keep that on here, just because this is a 4x4 four four table. So, yep, there we go. Also, you can make a 5x5 five five one. I don't recommend it because it takes even longer, because then you actually have to manually add all the recipes yourself. So, basically, instead of just having the template, you actually have to add all the other ones. I think it's kind of tedious, but you can definitely do that for yourself. But yep, that's how you basically make it. Now what you have to do is you have to create an output slot here. And then create a button. Which is called this craft. Then you can just hook up the button right here. If you click the... Okay, this right here is to edit the element. This um is move selected. Um, and this right here is remove. So and actually you can just select the recipe right there. And then all you have to actually do is just take your block. It doesn't have to be any fancy blocks. All you have to do is just go to Advanced Properties. I'm mean, not Advanced Properties. Talent Keys. So you want to check this. You want to select the. Uh, you want to select the GUI. Open bound on right click, and then uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to your GUI and you just want to check out. There's 16 slots, so make sure that you put a 17 in there because it is plus one. And then yeah, it's pretty simple, just like that. Uh, you can mess around with the other settings. Uh, you can look up other tutorials, but this is basically just a very, very simple version of a 4x4 or a custom crafting table. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. And now that we're looking at the game, uh, I want to thank you guys all for this tutorial. If you're on my channel, it'd be very appreciated if you were to subscribe. Currently, I am working on a Curse Forge project, so it will be greatly appreciated if you were to go and check that out as well. It is a mod for 1.15.2, which is the same version as Creator since I'm developing it in Creator. What I can do now is we can actually take our block right here, the advanced crafting table, and place this down, open this up, and as you can see, we have our GUI right there. Let's just take um, some water buckets. So have lots of these. Let's see how many we actually need. And also we, need, we just need some lava as well. See, so it actually stays inside the crafting table, which is something that doesn't actually happen, so that's cool. We just click craft, and as you can see, we got two obsidian from that. We actually said that it gives us actually two obsidian. And how we did that is because, oh no, not this. Uh, we went to here and then we went um, to our recipe here. And our procedure actually gives us two. Usually this is set to one. But we modify that. So it actually gives us two. So you can modify this to, I don't know, like even 20 and stuff. So yeah, you can modify really anything on here. Um, just check the description of the mod elements. Like as you can see, you can go to here and then. Uh, you can just look up some of these elements like you can also look up some tutorials and also ask questions on the forum page on further ways to customize this but that is basically the basics on how to make a custom crafting table i'll see you guys all next time goodbye guys